News 18, weather from where you live. Well, the high and mid-level clouds have been increasing today, dimming the sun just a hair, but now the low gray clouds from the Gulf of Mexico are surging in. Those will overspread the area this evening. We've got a few showers down in Arkansas. I think near midnight and especially thereafter, some scattered showers will move in mixed with some drizzle. And you can see our big storm here with all the heavy snow in the plains. It's a pretty strong storm, but I don't think it's really going to dump the rain on us. There will be showers, but the main area of heavy rain is going to be down here near the Gulf Coast in the south where the polar and subtropical jets split and where you get that split, it's called diffluence, and you get tremendous rising air motion. So there could be six, seven inch rainfall amounts down here and some severe weather with a lot of flooding here, just a tenth to about two tenths of an inch of rain. We'll keep the main accumulating snows west and northwest uh, of our area as well. Tonight, though, with that storm system, we keep the temperature fairly steady until some showers uh, cool it off a little bit, 47 by 9, but then with some showers, we're down to 43 by 5 and 7 a.m. Two waves of scattered showers, one main wave tomorrow morning, then a break with a little patchy drizzle in the afternoon, and then perhaps a secondary wave of scattered showers on the actual cold front late, late afternoon and evening, then turning cooler and some scattered snow, uh, snow showers and flurries next week will segue into a pretty nice cold snap coming in. But tonight, though, 40 to 45 for the low temperature, including 43 Dayton Lafayette, 42 at Monticello. And tomorrow, still a mild day, upper 40s to low 50s, 51 Lafayette, Delphi, 50 Logansport, and about 52 Crawfordsville, as well as Dayton. And then Sunday, turning cooler, temperatures pretty seasonable for the time of year, about 34 to 37. A brisk wind from the northwest and still quite a bit of cloud cover around with perhaps a little bit of sun poking through. Precision future cast shows the low gray clouds coming in tonight. This is 1.30, a few spotty showers coming in. And some more spotty showers, 3.30, 4 o'clock, mixed with some drizzle. And I think the showers will increase towards about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. You see quite a few showers around, around 7.40 in the morning. Then some lulling closer to noon. There could be a little patchy drizzle around in early afternoon, but here's the actual cold front that slides through. So showers coming back in 3, 4, 5 o'clock, and those get out of here. They may end as a few scattered flurries perhaps Saturday night or a couple snow showers, nothing significant. 36 Sunday, Monday, we've got another front that swings through with Gusty winds Tuesday, Wednesday with a few flurries and snow showers, but it turns a lot colder. I have only 24 on Wednesday and Thursday, and we can be down to about 11 degrees on Thursday morning before we're back to 28 on Friday. So nothing record, uh, nothing record breaking or no massive Arctic outbreak, but certainly it's going to feel a lot different. Just a major swing in temperatures, it oh, looks yeah. like. 30 degree difference. Big difference. Yeah, Chad, thank sure. you. Yep. Well, it was a somber day for residents across the